All right, guys, new project in the house. Unfortunately, I don't know who made it. Uh, the only marking that I can see is over here. I think it says like 0939, something like that. As you can probably notice it right off the bat, it is rusty galore, damage on the scales. Now the decision is what to do with it. I can always leave it alone and make this a, a wall piece or refurbish it. Me, personally, I don't see too many people that will want a rusty knife. No. Yeah, the unit itself is also, it's not as bad as the sheath. No markings. Uh, like I was saying, uh, what's the decision on it? Well, I think it has potential. Uh, it's not bent. It's not sharpened. The only damage I can see, other than those scales, is this scabbard here. A little bit of a, it's going off to the side. And uh, somebody banged into it. So I don't know if I can get that strained out or what. Also, I checked in here with the flashlight. Rust. Uh, as far as the bayonet, like I said, there's no markings. Uh, it's full of rust. My hands are getting rusty as I speak. And it's missing the hardware in the back, which I didn't know when I purchased it. Only the next day, I noticed it. And I was like, whoa, man. Could have negotiated on the price. But uh, that's neither here or there, so I don't care. The further we go, the further we play. Did that even make sense? Probably not. I'm thinking I'm going to try to save these here. I think they just twist off. I'm going to have to make my own special tool to get that out. I want to take out these original scales. I'll save them. I'll try to repair them, but I'm not going to put them back in here. I want to put some new uh, scales on here. So I just want to make a nice little quick refurbish, clean it all up, not grind into it, just take off the surface rust and along with the scabbard as well. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know. Let me try this one here. It's going to be tough. Oh, this one might be a good one. Oh, man. oh I think I snapped it. Or did I? Was it just turning around? I yeah, I snapped it. Guys, I tried saving it, but look, snapped it. It's just so rusty that it just snapped. That's unfortunate. Can't even get that out. Let me see what happens with this one. Man, that's, that's a shame. I wonder if they have that online. Oh, you bastard. This one's gonna go? No. I think it's the same thing, it broke. Yeah, that one broke as well, see? Broke right off. So yeah, wow, yeah, look how rusty it's in there. Not to get out this side, because this is rusted onto here. These little screws there, see that? It's going right through. Man, it rusts the ball. Well, at least I have a tool now to get that out, right? Wow, look at the condition of that. Yeah, that's a smart decision to just uh, replace it. It was just just rust in there. Look at that big chunk of rust right there. All right, let me see if I can hit it with a hammer and not damage it. Yeah, right. I might have to pry it. So still gonna try to save those. Just to, I'm gonna keep them, clean them out, and this and that. But not in this project. Just to, just to have it. All right, let me see something. Yeah, try to save it, huh? You know what, guys? Spoke too soon, and it's not worth it. Look at this. It's just beat up. But I am gonna save that one. Look at this falling apart, deteriorating. See that? By the way, white vinegar. So what I'll do is I'll just come back and turn it around like that. I'll start on this side like that. Alright, so I'm probably going to leave this here, let me see, about five hours. We'll call it five hours, I'll come in, actually uh, two and a half hours, I'll come in here, turn it around, and uh, yeah, leave it for five hours. Should be good enough, hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed. Alright, it's looking pretty good. 
So I took out the vinegar out of the pan. The scab is not looking too good. Um, it's still rusty, but I'm not worried about it. It's actually a little better than what it was. I uh, wiped it down with a cloth. Man, look all that that came out of both of those things. Uh, the, the blade is looking awesome. Just some spots down here down the, in the, on the tip and here and there. And uh, definitely needs a lot of work here on this uh, handle. Definitely, uh, that's looking actually really good. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. That is straight. <laughs> Check that out. Straight. The only downfall is that little dent there. Actually, now I got a little bit of a dent over here and a lot more dent here as I bent that. Hopefully, it goes back in, no problem. Alright, I'm just going to dip this and call it a day, no more. If you have anything laying around that's broken or rusty 
and you, you want to get rid of it, uh, let me know because uh, I'll be glad to take it and do some future projects with it. You can go over to my uh, YouTube uh, banner and to the right of that, to the bottom of it, uh, there's a link there to my email. Hit me up, let me know what you have, and we'll go from there. All right, enough talking. Let me get to this. All right, let it sit there. Turn on the mill. So you can see, this is time consuming. I'm gonna be here for a while. Um, you guys go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. We'll get some of the drink, and uh, hopefully uh, I get this done. You see that? That's what I'm working on right there. You get a nice little fresh section here. Speed this up. I'll be back when um, I'm ready for the pens. Jeez. Wow, that is time consuming. I'm sweating over here. Right now in here is uh, 83.4 degrees. Shout out to the heat. Here's how we're looking. Now just to clean her off. Shaper made one mistake. I should have went higher with the wood over here. This is sitting higher than the wood right here on these sides here. And of course, on this side, I could bring it in. I didn't see that. Well, too late. I'm not gonna redo the whole thing just because of that. Looking pretty good overall. And the sheath, I actually painted a little bit. So I got a dry and still can't handle it. So let me go ahead and do this. I think I might do that, I don't know. I think I'm over the wrong. a little bit. a lot better but uh now i have a shiny spot i'll take care of this at the end i'm gonna have to disguise it make it look like it's in there all the time oh i'm happy with that transition pretty good sorry if you can't hear me all right here's where i'm at still haven't uh shaped it out but uh as you saw me i ground off here and here so i can have a smoother transition I had no choice to do that, but don't worry about how it looks because at the end I'm going to make this look like it's old like that. 
So I'm going to put some pits in there, clean it off, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try to blend it in, basically. But, uh, that's a lot better transition, nice and smooth. That's going to work out a lot better. See that? There's nothing sticking out like that. And, and I just got to bring in that wood as well. But you see, it all goes well into it. Kind of nicked a little bit over here, huh? I just noticed that on camera. Over here is looking pretty decent. So you guys, you can see a little more work. I have to work here at it, here, here, here. Up here is looking pretty nice. Nice and tight on there. The other side, nice and tight. Of course, get all of this glue, smoothing it all out. And then I'll do the blade at the end and the sheath, like I said, it's already drying. I did go ahead and paint it. I really like this unit, it's pretty good. Wish I had the hardware for it, third time I said it, I think, but uh, that's, another story but anyways let me get to it good here decent here close satisfied with that blended this in a little bit you know I did some damage to this but now it's nice and nice I know just the white pins doesn't go with the you know the era you know the 1930s 40s whatever whenever this was built but um hey you know what for now it's mine so I do it the way I want to do it. I know it's going to be a lot of people saying, should have done it this way, should have never done it that way, do this, don't do that, go do this, and don't go do that. You know what? That's neither here or there, and uh, like I said, I don't care. So now, I'm going to uh, make this look a lot older. I already started. You can see, if you can see, see how it has a little pitting? You know, it's like some of the grains were taken out. It does by accident, but um, it turned out to be really good. When I was buffing this out, it, uh, it did that, so that's awesome. And uh, I'm gonna do the handle and the blade. So I'm gonna go do that. It's kind of a secret how I do all that crap. Uh, when I have everything all said and done, I'll reveal the finished product. So for you, it's only a second, as soon as I snap my finger. All right, just finished her up last night. Sheath came out pretty good. Better than rust, right? Tried to do the best I could inside there, but you know how that goes. Very hard to reach area, but I'm happy with that, satisfied. And the bayonet, let me put this in my pocket while I do this. As you can see by the blade, it has some etching. I put it throughout keep the theme going I know it ain't a classic look especially with these pins but I had to do what I had to do you know bring it up to a little modern time oak uh, handles shaping came out really really good I'm very happy with it there's uh, nothing that's gonna catch your you know your finger um, also I didn't put the hole going through not sure what it's for but I'm sure it's for something but anyways, I uh, don't need that. It's not like this thing's going to go onto a rifle anytime soon. And also, it's missing the hardware. So, it is what it is on this piece. Very solid. This thing is straight as an arrow. Never been sharpened. Still has a nice tip. 
overall. Solid beast, I'll tell you that. I guess there's not much else to say other than, actually, let me grab the uh, bag here in my pocket. I did save the original hardware. Only one scale, the other one just broke all over the place. And those little nuts, little screws, put one on there. This thing was just a total mess, but anyway, so um, this will always be with, uh, with the bayonet. If it goes off to someone, if anyone is interested, hit me up. It is available, or I'll just keep it if it doesn't go. But regardless, it's a great showpiece. Nice little wall hanger, right? Oh, thanks for coming in, checking out this quick refurbish. You guys have a good one.